Hello viewers, welcome to Finland. And the reason I'm here is to ride this, the brand new SRAM Apex Access Group Set on a lovely Sonda Camino Thai gravel adventure bike. It's SRAM's new fourth tier, most affordable electronic group set, one by 12, but get this, there's also a mechanical version as well. So mechanical shifting is not dead just yet. And to find out what the new group set is all about and whether it's any good or not, I'm riding a brand new gravel event hosted by none other than F1 star Valtteri Bottas. I'm a big F1 nut, should be a lot of fun. So I've got 177 kilometers of riding in the amazing, spectacular Finnish countryside to find out what the new group set is all about and whether it's any good or not. And that thing behind me, well, let me show you. That is the biggest ski jump I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of it. And there's a swim pool at the bottom. That's mental. It is amazing just how SRAM does it. I mean, ETAP only came out in 2015 and then Access in 2019. But here we are with their fourth tier electronic group set, bringing all the technology we know and love from Red, Force and Rival to a new, lower and more accessible price point, making this the most affordable electronic group set you can currently buy. So it's a one by 12 speed group set. There's no front mech, no double option. It's all one by. Designed for gravel and adventure bikes primarily. There's no reason why you can't use it on a road or endurance bike as well. Apex has a lot in common with the more expensive group sets like Red, Force and Rival. For a start, it's wireless. Use the same removable battery, the same ergonomic hoods as Force and Rival, the same app customization. There's even the same power meter option as well. The only difference really are the materials used and the weight on the scales. But the group set I'm currently riding weighing just over 3,000 grams. So lightweight it's not, but at this price point, it's likely weight isn't the main focus. There are quite a few gearing options in the range of which I have the widest offering, a 1150 cassette with an Eagle rear mech, what they call a mullet setup. So business at the front, party at the back. All the range you need for the biggest hills and mountains you might encounter. If you don't fancy a mullet, there is the Explore 1144 option as well. There's also a choice to use a SRAM XDR3 hub with a 1050, 1044 or 1036 cassette instead. To make the group set a bit more affordable, they've used an 11 tooth sprocket so it's compatible with a Shimano HG3 hub, which are more plentiful at those lower price points. There's also, and it's really exciting, a mechanical option as well. So the same 1x12 using their double tap shifters. That I haven't seen in the flesh yet, but hopefully I'll get a ride on that later in the year. That's definitely one to stay tuned for. So the new group set starts at just over 1,200 pounds and the mullet setup I have here is just over 1,300 pounds. So a very competitive price point for sure, but it's likely most people buying this group set will be buying on a bike rather than building it themselves. And that's where it gets really interesting. I can't wait to see after the launch what sort of bikes are available with this new group set. Super mellow, relaxed start for us. The pros at the front taking it very differently, of course, but at the back of the pack, nice and steady. The long, long day ahead. Conditions are perfect, nice and warm, dry, dusty. And this opening section is like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down, but great fun so far. So far, the riding is sort of what you expect when you say the word gravel. Rolling forest tracks, kind of smooth gravel, not too rough, not too technical. Just a fantastic experience so far. Very different to what I'm used to back home in the UK. But my goodness, Finland, 
What a place. Absolutely breathtaking. It's fast as well. 40k an hour, absolutely trucking along. In a nice group as well. Tervetuloa Suomeen. Is it the best place in the world? Kyllä. And on the second native language, welcome to Finland. Uh, in Swedish, welcome to Finland. Uh, fantastic. Well, it's lovely to be here, guys. It's an amazing place. Yeah. I'm feeling my bottle. So how are you enjoying the, uh, the Finland gravel? Oh, it's really nice. Fantastic. Yeah, good atmosphere, good crowds, good route, sunny. Can't get any better. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Fantastic. <laughs> and thanks for uh, your uh, hard work in the front of the bunch today. Pulling us along. Oh, no, no, I enjoy it in the back of the bunch. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll let the others do the work. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't that the best jersey ever? Look at that. Finland isn't short of gravel, that's for sure. Miles and miles of stuff. And it varies from super fast, hard pack, almost tarmac type grades, to super chunky, with one line through it and everything off it is just super sketchy. My first trip to Finland, it proved to be a fantastic experience. Everyone's so friendly, so laid back, giving us a really warm welcome. And the riding is just, Stunning, amazing gravel tracks. The bike is working at tickety boo. I'm glad of the uh, big range gearing for some of the steeper, punchier climbs. Got the blips on the top, so change gear from the top to really like that. Feature or SRAM access, brakes are super powerful. Got a nice small ergonomic hoods from Rival and Force, of course. And it's working fine. No noise, no drama, no issues. Just working really nicely. I'm loving the atmosphere and the vibe to this event. Everyone is so laid back. We started near the back of the group, so no racing. But there's no egos back here. Everybody's just having a great time riding along with a nice group. Very sociable, just chatting about cycling and and Finland, just out here having an amazing day on the bike, sharing the love for cycling. It's definitely a US style gravel this. Big, open countryside, super fast flowing, Mostly smooth gravel. You know what? Getting on a smooth tarmac after riding gravel, it feels wonderful. And now we're back in gravel. The riding here has been absolutely spectacular. Amazing views, really quiet roads, just through Finnish farming land, really. So not many people around. And if you're a WRC rally fan, these are the actual roads that they race on. Just terrifying to think how fast they must drive along these roads. But also pretty good fun as well. It has definitely been a great day on the bike. An epic adventure. Well, maybe not epic, but a big adventure anyway. A lot of fun. Amazing course, organisation, people, atmosphere. Definitely one to add to your list next year. I can highly recommend it. Wow, what an event that was. What a weekend. I'm proudly wearing my finisher cap and I'm back in England, as you can probably tell. But the event was definitely one of the, the best I've ever done, actually. A great day on a bike and a great way to discover and explore Finland. Such a beautiful country full of very friendly people. So definitely one I can highly recommend for next year. One of the best days I've ever had on a bike. Now, let me get techie and talk through how the bike and the group set fared through a very dusty, as you can tell, 177 kilometers of gravel. And really, 
there's not much to talk about here because the group set worked extremely well. It gave me no issues or concerns at all. The shifting was fast, quiet and precise. And even though it caked in dust, it made no noise at all. I really enjoyed and definitely benefited from the wide range 1150 cassette. I used every single sprocket throughout the course. The 50 was much needed on some of the bigger climbs towards the end of the course when my legs were getting very tired. And there were a few occasions when I perhaps missed the smaller 10-2 sprocket on some of the faster sections. It wasn't really a deal breaker and I wasn't racing, so the 11 was just fine. And one buy makes a lot of sense on a bike like this on a course we are riding. Just much simpler, much easier. And the blips on the Hanna bars are probably my favourite feature of any group set full stop. So based on this ride, it seems SRAM had knocked out of the park with new Apex Access, offering the wide range 1x12 gearing option to more people at low price points, and also the addition of the mechanical version to make it even more accessible and affordable. I've been using Rival on my own giant TCR race bike for the last two years, and it's been flawless and I've had no issues. But set against the affordability of Apex, I can't really see any reason, unless weight is a real focus for you, why you spend more on Rival, Force or Red. And I think what SRAM is doing here is even more commendable and impressive when set against what Shimano and Campag are offering. And I don't think they're offering enough, to be honest, at this lower price point. So a really exciting future for anybody buying a gravel and adventure bike in the next 12 months with a focus on value for money. Because I don't think you can get anything better than what Apex is gonna offer in that price category. Let's talk about the bike the group set is attached to as well. And this was my first experience of a Sonder bike. This is a Camino Tai, their gravel adventure bike. They also offer an aluminum version as well. But the tie frame here starts from 1,900 pounds and the bills they offer with Shimano and SRAM are very competitive when it comes to price. On paper, you're getting a lot of bike for your money and there's a lot to recommend. I like the fact we have big, generous tie clearance. We have extra mounts for bags and bottles all over the fork and the frame. We have a threaded bottom bracket. We have fairly sensible cable routing. You fit a round seat post and titanium is great for bike packing when you're strapping bags to it because there's no paint to scratch so a very durable finish that would definitely last the course of time but there are a few niggles that really stood out for me when riding the bike the first issue was the weight now i'm no weight weenie but the bike was on the heavy side when it first arrived and the prime candidate for the weight were the company's own wheels not these wheels here these are from my specialized crux because they save a lot of weight and added some more aero over the wheels, the company's own wheels that the bike came with. The second is the ride quality. Now, Titanium has a bit of a reputation for offering a very smooth ride and a sort of magic carpet experience. And generally, that is the case when it comes to more expensive Titanium frames. But this one definitely bucked the trend. It wasn't so bad on the generally smooth gravel of Finland, but on my local tracks here, which are rough, with lots of roots and rocks, I found a ride hard and occasionally harsh. And that sort of shows that the material alone doesn't mean you're gonna get that ride quality it's famous for. There's the tube dimensions, the internal butting, the profiling, and the way it's all joined together. So much more than just the material alone contributing to that ride quality. Now, they built the geometry around using short stems across the size range, which is fine. But with the inline seat post, I found the fit a little bit cramped, just a little bit. So I fitted a slightly longer stem. I think a setback seat post would be an improvement and give me the fit I needed, just to be a bit more comfortable on the bike over that long distance ride. And the reason for that short stem is to give a lively, agile steering. But the problem is I found it a bit too lively and a bit too agile. And that lively steering was livelier than any other gravel bike I can remember from the last five, six, seven years. And a, a feature of the bike that really stood out for me. Yeah. 
And there we are then, my first ride of the brand new SRAM Apex Axa group set and my experience of riding the amazing Finland gravel event. If you've got any questions about the event or the group set, put them down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you want to see a roundup of some of the best gravel bikes currently available, then do watch the video right here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here. But that's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.